the mission of the company is to open up access to uh, the American financial system. So we named the company Robinhood. And uh, our product allows people to buy and sell stocks in public companies commission-free. So whereas other discount brokerages um, charge 7 to $10 every single trade and have account minimums of $500 to $2,000, with Robinhood, we have no minimums and no trading commissions. So really opening up access to the stock market and the ability to uh, invest in companies and really what's ultimately been the ultimate driver of American wealth creation over the past several generations to been the, stock market. the general public. Yes. Yeah. Not homes. Stock market has uh, appreciated more than homes. Yeah. Or Definitely. Much more so. Right. Now, what's your background? You, you came, were you a quant or something or... What was your background coming into this? How did you come up with this idea? So my background is is a little bit unconventional. Uh, my co-founder, Beju and I yeah. met at Stanford, where we both started studying physics. Ah. So I was a physics undergrad, and then we both became really good friends doing summer research in physics. Um, we both switched to math at around the same time. And Why did you switch to math from physics? Uh, one of the main reasons is uh, what got me into physics in the first place was uh, reading about string theory and sort of exploring the fundamental question of why are we here? Why does the universe exist? Why does it have the properties that it has? And, you know, you, you learn about, I guess you can, you can make the argument that sort of all of physics attempts to answer that central question. Who are we? How do we get here? Yeah, what happened? What is this? What happened in the first, you know, thirty microseconds after the universe was created, or what happened before the universe was created? Has anybody ever answered that specific question? What happened before the Big Bang? Uh, people have theories. Yeah, um, you know, and I, actually, string theory attempts to address what happened immediately after the Big Bang. Right. Um, it turns out we know a lot about what happened. You know. 30 milliseconds onward, but those those first sort of uh, milliseconds, yeah. microseconds are a big mystery. Um, Which is fascinating to me. You think about all of we all we've learned. We don't know how the simulation started. That's it was right. Like literally, they rebooted the computer, and we know yeah. from like the boot sequence, 30 milliseconds on, but we don't know what happened before. It's pretty fascinating when you think about it. Right, and and that's what got me into physics. It's sort of yeah. that desire to understand. And then when I got to Stanford, I realized that the Stanford physics department was very much, you know, they have some good theorists, but it was kind of an experimental machine. Mm. So uh, mainly geared toward churning out experimentalists mm. and you had to do all of this laboratory work. Um, it was not quite as as interesting as maybe what uh, what I really liked. So I went more and more toward the theoretical side. Yeah. And then that ends up being math. So I was in the math department um, learning all of these things. And I figured, you know, this stuff's really interesting. Why don't I just focus on this? Right. So no real interest or background. There's no, there's very little sort of entrepreneurship in my family. Huh. Um, back when I went to college, it wasn't really a hip thing to do. You know, I graduated 2008. Yeah. And back then people were going on Wall Street or... Yeah. Um, joining investment banks. Um, nobody was really... So were you, were you thinking about that, going in with a Stanford math degree into banking or Goldman Sachs? Not very much, actually. Um, I went and started a PhD down at UCLA, and I was sort of on the academia train. You know, I wanted to uh, become a professor and produce research and have people sort of... I had this romantic notion that that research would... Um, be taught in schools and, you know, our children might be learning it. And I am a huge fan of Wistia. Wistia um, has supported this program for many years and we host all our videos on Wistia. Why do we do that? Well, video is important. We like to collect emails because once we get your email, we can invite you to our events. We can invite you to founder.university, angel.university, the angel summit, launch festival scale, 
maybe uh, invite you to buy my book, whatever it is. Emails equal power, right? And video equals power. So everybody loves to watch videos. What we do is when you watch This Week in Startups, we ask you, hey, would you like to get special announcements, announcements from This Week in Startups or launch? Probably like half the people who watch the video give us their email address. So we have now hundreds of thousands of emails over the years that we've collected for Inside, for This Week in Startups, and large portion of them. I would, I would guess maybe double-digit percentages came from our Wistia videos. So let me make that clear. If you're just putting videos on other services and then they wrap them with videos they want you to see next and Gangnam Style and other nonsense and, you know, SpongeBob or whatever, that's not what you want for business video. For business video, you want Wistia where you can control the entire experience. Uh, MailChimp, Moz, HubSpot, Zendesk, Herman Miller, Sam Adams, they all use it, and they have grown. When they started uh, partnering with us on This Week in Startups, and we used them for, as our platform, they had 50,000 customers. Now they have 330,000, and I missed investing in this company. I'm just kicking myself. Um, they give you great analytics. You can see the trends and the viewer streams. You can capture the emails. As I, as I mentioned, it's super easy to use, tons of support, and it integrates with all the uh, top email and marketing tools out there. Tons of resources will get you off the ground when you look at their blog, um, and uh, you can pick the right microphone, lighting, all that kind of stuff using video, email. They just basically teach everybody how to do it uh, on their blog. So it's a, it's a really good blog, actually. Uh, you can create a free account right now, wistia.com slash twist, wistia.com slash twist. If you are doing video for business purposes, I want you to just think Wistia. Business video, Wistia. Wistia, business video. Wistia.com slash twist. 